Hello everybody. I want to uh, show you a position from the game Modiaki Ivan Chuck from the Latvian Railway Open in 2014. Here on move 10, uh, Al Modiaki has just played e5. And this position uh, intrigued me because uh, it can be used as a measuring stick or a gauge, so to speak, to determine of a chess player's uh, preference and playing style. Now, here, if you want, set this position up or even just pause the video and ask yourself, right, what would you do here as black in this position? And now I'm going to make it real easy for you. There's basically uh, two choices here. And neither one of them are bad. So it's not uh, a tactical problem where if you do one, you'll be losing. If you do the other, you're winning or maintaining equality. It's purely uh, a personal uh, preference. But I'm interested to know. Uh, and I actually look forward to some of your comments to see uh, what type of... Uh, what type That's basically uh, two choices here. One is to keep the position closed, say with d5, right? Uh, or allow the opening of the position by playing d takes e5 himself, or even a move like b6, which allows the opening of the position after e takes d6. So take a minute or two and uh, think about it. And again, like I, I really look forward to some of uh, your responses. And this is uh, the main reason why I'm uh, showing uh, this position. Um, in the game, uh, Van Chuck played d5. So he preferred to keep the position closed here. Uh, let's look at the other side. Let's say, for example, d takes e5 was played. Now, of course, before we make such a decision, we have to think of the pros and cons of the move. But um, D takes E5, of course, will allow uh, white to have more play. For instance, the F file will be uh, fully opened. Um, and the uh, white attack uh, probably will be a bit more intense. However, is black worse? Of course not. It's just that by opening the position... There's more play in the position. Now, the play goes both ways, and that's why the position is equal. Okay, just because white is getting an open F file and a little bit more activity for his pieces, well, this doesn't mean black isn't getting the same thing. For example, D takes E5, F takes E5, Knight F5, ready to jump into the D4 square. Let's say, for argument's sake, Knight E5 being willing to sacrifice the e5 pawn, knight takes e5, knight takes e5, bishop takes e5, g4. Alright, so play is on both sides. White uh, is attacking and being aggressive, but black has enough resources uh, to defend. So, for example, queen h4, exclamation mark. Queen takes h4, knight takes h4, and... This position is equal. Okay. Now, of course, don't make the foolish error of getting greedy and playing G takes F5 because Queen takes H2 is mate. Figured I would just point that out. I know some of you are looking at that move. Okay, instead of knight E4. Queen e4 can be played, just trying to hold the spot on e5. Queen c7. All right, doing the classical uh, thing, which is to build up pressure on the advanced e-pawn. Castle. Bishop d2 is a sort of trappy move. Uh, if knight takes e5, then bishop f4 can be played. But black still doesn't have to worry because he can take f3 with check. Queen takes f3, queen e7. And now bishop a4, this is why black sacrifices the pawn, because b5 is not available because of the uh, hanging rook on a8. Then he would have to move his king. Again, 
black is not worse here and that's why I was saying this is more or less uh, stylistic uh, preference Again, Bishop F4 is another option there and so those are the type of things we would have to think about by allowing the position uh, to become open okay um, by closing the position what's the downside of that okay so Avanchuk prefers to play d5 now Avanchuk likes to play different openings and uh, he has a vast uh, opening repertoire so he might decide to open up the same position you know like uh, if he's playing on another day however here he preferred d5 what's some of the downsides of d5 well right away I can tell you that that bishop on g7 is upset about it because that bishop is going to have to be uh, moved to another location now that bishop's best square is probably on e7 all right black now also has these knights on uh, e7 and c6 that are sort of redundant and perhaps one of the knights should be here or perhaps even one of the knights should be traded off perhaps uh, to give black some more breathing room all right so he chose d5 in that um, instance and again the game uh, the game is pretty equal again another thing you have to think of is the game will probably be probably be a little bit longer now um, <clears throat> seeing that the position is closed as as it is all right and so it lends uh, you know this this type of closed position uh, usually leads to uh, more of a maneuvering game it this favors an experienced player right? an experienced uh, a veteran like a van Chuck uh, you know has more of a chance of outplaying his opponent okay playing 70 80 moves then perhaps in 40 moves all right he just has more understanding uh, built up uh, over the years so that might have uh, played a factor um, anyway after d5 the game was very long as I said I'm not going going to go through the whole game because basically I just want to bring this position up so as an assessment of of your chess style you know and just to ask you out there what would you prefer d5 like Vasily or d takes e5 opening up the position like where would you um, where would you find yourself uh, you know if you were sitting across the board from Al Modiaki all right now eventually after I just run through these moves quickly eventually after a long hard struggle eventually eventually won the game had nothing to do of course uh, with the opening per se but again with all the maneuvering uh, that took place which favors the more experienced stronger player eventually uh, Modiaki uh, you know committed an error the general play was that of course Modiaki was trying to look for a break on the king side and Ivan Chuck was playing on the other side of the board um, Van Chuck defended very well eventually Al Modiaki made the decision to open up the center which is correct as the king was still you know didn't commit to castling and was still remaining in the center this happened at move 27 with c4 bishop takes c4 knight takes d takes and now Al Modiaki crashed through with the move d5 Ivan Chuck played knight b4 again trying to keep the position uh, as close as possible uh, it wouldn't be too wise to play e takes d5 with your pieces is uncoordinated uh, as Ivan Chuck saw here this is exactly what black would excuse me what white would be looking for and um, you know this this allows white to just create a lot of pressure on the black position Avantuck played knight b4 here. More of an amateurist move would be 
D6. Uh, just attacking, making one threat, um, one, you know, one move threat against the bishop and still allowing the position to, to be uh, locked and closed down. D takes E6 is correct. Queen takes E6. And now Rook takes A4. Again, some more maneuvering uh, took place. Uh, Van Chuck has those pawns uh, on the C and B file versus the one pawn on the B file. And as the game now uh, clarifies into an ending, um, White's king being on the F file is not so bad. However, the problem is, is now it's in the way of the Rook. So, Van Chuck has to straighten that out. So, he'll play King G7. And then he is able to free his other rook. And now it's black on the attack. So here is where uh, Al Modiaki made his error in capturing this pawn right here. Which then allowed Vanchuk to just simply trade down. And now he just has a pass pawn protected by the bishop on e7. And that's what I was saying, that his loss really had nothing to do with the opening. It was just that, you know, in a tough maneuvering game, right, brought on by this move D5, closing up the, uh, choosing to close up the position, he was able to eventually outplay his opponent. So instead of that move, Rook takes C4, right, just grabbing that pawn right away. Either E6, F takes E6, and then Rook takes uh, C4. It would have been good. King F7. Bishop D4. Rook D5. And then. Ivan Chuck does not have a pass pawn. Uh, running. You know free on the B file. So for example. After Rook takes C4. I gave the move King F7. If Rook takes B2 here. <clears throat> Rook takes B2. Knight takes b2, and then a skewer bishop d4 check. Okay, and this is a this is the point behind the move e6. Notice how e6 clears the dark square diagonal. Okay, but again, in analysis, it's easy to to see that you know that far ahead. So. I can't really knock Modiaki for playing this move, just getting rid of the pawn. Uh, seems very natural. However, this immediately leads to a, um, a, a rather tenuous position. Anytime your opponent just has a, a, a unopposed passer like that, uh, it, it's just psychologically stressful. Because you know that you got to watch, watch it at every turn. Bishop c3 just protects it. Rook a2. Rook e7. The rest is pretty easy for a, a Van Chuck. Simplification. Knight takes c5. Knight takes c5. Bishop d4 harassing the knight. Knight b3. Rook e1. King h2. And now bishop g1. And guess what? It's time to go knight knight. Rook e3 check, of course, picking up the unprotected knight on b3. Only other move here is king h1. But again, that leads to loss of material after simple moves like bishop e3 check. Discover check, that is king h2. And then you can just simply follow up with bishop takes f4. And then, if... Well, not if, because it's the only move, but after g3, then black has the nerve to be able to play bishop takes g3 in the position. And, of course, if king takes g3, the same scenario happens. Okay, so, good game uh, by Ivan Chuck. It's, uh, of course, you know, that's the difference, you know, those 200 points rating difference, you know, um, shows up in those late position, late position. 
maneuvering positions like that. But again, back to this starting position at the E5. Uh, please tell me your preference. Would you open it up if you're black, or will you play like a Van Chuck and try to, uh, you know, maneuver your opponent to death? Or you don't care. It depends on how you're feeling uh, that particular day. You just got it all figured out, and you can play any type of position. So that's it for that video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon on the next one.